Yahya Tal, I'm a consultant neonatologist, and today is another episode of a series talking about neonatal ventilation. And today we'll be talking about uh, loops and specifically uh, uh, flu uh, volume loop. Now, the most important part is not to mix up between the loops of pulmonary function and loops of the ventilator, because sometimes there is a mix up. Now, the volume, uh, the volume flow loop of the pulmonary function is done like this. So uh, it starts from here. So this is your FRC, and it goes like this, and like this. So this is your tidal volume. Okay. Now in the ventilator, it's a little bit different. So it's a flow, you have positive, you have negative, you have inspiratory, and you have expiratory. So if we discard this, and you ask, you can see it's inspiratory, and expiratory, and inspiratory, and expiratory. And if we stop it, you can see um, um, the zero is from here, and uh, uh, you know it, the volume is like 10, uh, 10 mL almost, and you can see the flow is in positive and negative. So this is one of the important points in difference between the uh, volume uh, flow loops in the ventilator. So um, when we draw it back, so we have in, and then we have out. So start in here, which is the functional residual capacity, and then the flow goes up, 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 and reach peak. So peak inspiratory uh, flow rate, and then goes down, goes down, goes down, and it's back to zero. And when it's back zero, you get the, your maximum tidal volume from here. And then it breathes out, out until it reach maximum. Uh, peak, uh, this is inspiratory, sorry. This is peak expiratory flow Sorry. Rate. And then it goes back to zero. So uh, this is inspiration, and this is expiration. So any change here is related to expiration. Any change here, inspiration. Any change here related to expiration. And there are many abnormalities that we can pick up from the uh, flow volume. First one is we call it scooping. The most important feature that you find in it is the scooping. So instead of this, you'll find it done like this. So you have a scoop out. And because this is scoop out, is start at the beginning of at the, the breath. beginning of no, no. start at the beginning of, uh, uh, of the, the breath. breath in, and then it's mostly related to the upper airway. Upper airway. Okay, and when it's continue, and if you have a scoop out, then mostly related to the lower. Okay. Yes. So you have scoop out. When you have one scoop out, this it will not affect the lower. But if you have a scoop out in both, that is not enough flow going in. Then probably you have limitation. It's not because you have a problem in the expiration. Because you didn't have enough info. go and yes. So remember, scoop out, the scoop. So this is upper airway. This is up, up, lower airway. Okay. So once you have limitation in here, you will have limitation in here. Okay. But you can see if that happened, you have enough tidal volume. So you don't have any restrictive lung disease. If you have restrictive lung disease, the flow, the because the flow cannot open the lung. So it goes up, it goes up, it goes up, it goes up, it give up, and goes down. And then try to, again to breathe out. So you get like this. So you can see this is your normal tidal volume, and you are losing your tidal volume. So this is the restrictive lung disease. So example in neonatology of restrictive lung disease is, for example, RDS, or uh, pulmonary edema, or PDA. All these causing uh, example of uh, 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 
upper airway obstruction, for example, you have uh, uh, when you have a small tube. Remember, when you interpret the graph, it's important to remember, or there is assumption in uh, ventilator. First is there is no leak. Second, this is measuring the whole respiratory dynamics, not only the uh, uh, ETT and mm -hmm. airways. It measures the diaphragm, it's affected by the chest wall, and so on. Mm -hmm. So remember when you interpret them. The other things, it's assumed that the, uh, the dead space is zero when you, uh, when you interpret this. So you have a scoop out of upper airway problem. The other things is you have a scoop out so if you have this, so if you have a breathe in, breathe out, and then you have scoop out. Yeah. So this is scoop out in expiration. This is lower airway obstruction. Most common in neurotology is uh, uh, chronic lung disease. But it also happens same in asthma mm. and in bronchitis. Same. You have scoop out. The other abnormality that you can see is this does not return back to zero. Yeah. Okay, so the flow, so you get has this one. And then you start to come here. This is air trapping. And usually when there is air trapping, it happens like this. So you have a scoop out like this, yeah. and there's air trapping. The other abnormality that you will see is leak. So you get like this, you get like this, and you come here. So you have this. You have Missing leak. part, yeah. Okay? The other abnormality is important to know is secretion. So you, they call it uh, uh, so teeth. Mm. Or, uh, so you have like this. Corrugate. Corrugate. Okay, and it's important to correlate. You can see this. Uh, the peak uh, in respiratory flow in here, I don't know if it's clear on, on the video. You can see it reached very early. Mm -hmm. That means your rising time is very small. So you can see the rising time from zero until the peak inspiratory is reaching, it should reach like this. So if you see this, you need to increase your, you go to additional, and you go to your rising time, and you increase it a little bit. Point one. For example, and if you move it back, and then you'll see the difference. No, there is a leak. Yeah, no, it's improved. Anyhow, if not improved, you need to increase it more and more. So it is now a little bit improved. It is not improved, so you need to a little bit move it in this way. So you can see the peak expiratory when you flow in, you go the flow increase, 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 increase until it reaches static and then decrease, 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 until it's still partial. So it is the maximum. So when you see this, you try to increase your rising time. You can see also uh, the uh, outflow sign is very high, so the, the termination sign is also short, so you need to increase it a little bit. So important to, to remember this and to see a good graph, you need time. Probably there's a little bit of leak. Now it's a little bit better. Also. You see now it's a little bit better. And, but you need to improve it until you see it depend on the situation. So it's important to monitor this rising time. It always needs to be like this. It's way better. So from here, the maximum flow to this, it should be at least 10% to 20% of the whole cycle, of the whole rising time and going back. So if this way is not good, this is a better. So the rising time. Yeah. The, the termination also, you can see the inflow here, this one, the start of the end. Uh, this is not good. You, need, you like it to be like this. 
Yeah, go ahead. What's the question? Regarding the rising tide, it's always making direct rise. So we have to reduce it so we can... Yeah. Oh, the rising tide, it's better to see it on the flow, on the on the graph, not in here. Mm -hmm. So if you go by... Because today I'm, I'm speaking about the uh, uh, flow volume, but the best rising time you look at here. So it's not a bad rising time. Still, you can see it's... Uh, it is not like a steep. Slow, it's not. It's not like a, 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 a slow or a, a tangential rise. It looks like more sharp rise. Yeah. Steep. It looks like more like uh, 90 degrees uh, triangle. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's not great. So you need rising time to be a little bit better. Mm -hmm. and here also the inspiratory time I think is short. No, it's actually 50. Or the rate is. I think the rate is slow. Anyhow, the. the mm -hmm. Yeah, now a little bit better. You can see now. Still, you need to, uh, you know, you need to increase the rising time. Anyway, you need to adjust. There is no fix until you see that. So the rising time is better to be seen here. But, but because today we are speaking about volume flow, flow loop, no, this is the time. Uh, volume flow uh, uh, loop, um, it's always better to see it in this way. So we talked about. Uh, you see that there is a problem, there is a leak in the ventilator. I don't have that. Mm -hmm. So, the best we've talked about um, breathing, so it's cool out. Upper airway, lower airway, expand. So, we have normal here, and we have scoop out. We've talked about uh, yes. restricted lung disease. Scoop we'll out the. Uh, about obstructive lung disease. We'll scoop so out by lateral. Obstructive lung disease. Okay. Scoop out. Scoop out. And uh, we've talked about scoop out airway. Yes. And we've talked about trapping. trapping. We've talked about leak. Leak. And we talked about secretion obstruction. So this is, in short, the talk about the uh, uh, volume uh, no. flow loop on. Ventilator. It shows you the dynamic in one uh, respiratory cycle and it tells you the relation between two parameters, which is the flow and the volume. And the flow is flow in and flow out. Any question? So that's very short. <laughs>